So we already have the first three steps of our character walking. I guess you know how you can continue that. But I bet in most cases you'd like to save your efforts and create a looped walk cycle. So let's take a look at how to do that. Obviously we need to loop the interval from frame 0 to 32. But we exclude frame number 32 because it's exactly the same as frame 0. We don't want to repeat it twice. So we need to make our character walk in place. This is the position of the front leg. Now in frame 32 we want to move the whole group backwards. So the front leg is aligned to its original position. Oops, the circle marker is in the same group with the character. Let's create one outside of it. And now we can move the group. Notice that because of the keyframes we have an extra waypoint here, but we need the whole character motion to start from zero. So let's fix it. And this last waypoint can be removed. Done. Now our guy walks in place until frame 32. And we don't care what happens after that because we're going to add a time loop layer now. But first, we need to understand filter layers. Usually, layers are used to display something in the working area. A circle, a rectangle, bitmap artwork, etc. But in Synfig, there are special layers that can change the look or behavior of underlying layers. These are called filter layers. Let me demonstrate with an example. Create two circles, a blue one and a red one. Select the upper circle. Right-click it and choose New Layer. Let's choose the Blur filter layer. Surprise! Everything is blurred. We can adjust the blur amount in the Parameters menu or right in the canvas by moving this dot. Filter layers only affect layers below them. If we move the blur layer down, then only the red circle will be blurred. But what if we'd like to blur only the blue circle above it and keep the red one unchanged? To do that, just move the layer up above the blue circle and group them together. So you see filters affect only the layers in the same group. In the new layer menu we have a lot of filter layers. Many different distortions and other interesting effects. Right now though we need a time loop layer. This layer takes a fragment of animation from the layers below and continuously repeats it. Let's get back to our character. Turn the animation mode off. Now add a time loop layer. Set its duration to 31. As you probably remember, we don't need to include frame 32. Now all's ready and we have an endless walk cycle. Let's save the file.